Hi and welcome everybody. In our exciting times, a new ultrasonic vinyl cleaner is coming to the market. It's called Degritter and I have been part of the beta testing program the last six months. It's now very close that the retail unit will be introduced to the market. So I thought this is a nice opportunity to share my experiences, show the concept, show how it works, but also how it does it differentiate from a do-it-yourself unit. And of course, we will clean a unit and see how it operates. Um, a little bit of the history. I think it was um, last year, somewhere around summertime, I was really close to just making one myself. There are so many positive stories about final cleaning with ultrasonic that for me, I made the decision. To, now I'm going to try and do that also myself. Because in the past, all my cleaning units were do-it-yourself units. I started with an Okinoki type unit and later on made my own Lori Craft unit, which I'm very happy about. But the many stories about ultrasonic make me curious. What, what is there to gain? Does it really clean better? And when I was searching for how to do it, there's a big thread going on on do-it-yourself with lots of valuable uh, information. I came across these guys, Deke Ritter, and it turned out this team, I think there were four or now with five guys, they have been working on a unit for already two years and they were very close to getting it to the market, but they first wanted to beta test it. And every feature they put into the unit, it was something that I wanted to have in my do-it-yourself unit. And I thought I could spend a lot of time and let's cut some corners and see if I could enter the beta program. And as history went by, that's how it turned out. And as you can see, is if you go to the looks before I go into the features, it really it looks like a toaster from the 50s, a beautiful toaster from the 50s, which can also make some coffee. Of course, it can't make coffee, it can't do toasters, but it will clean your vinyl in a very, very good way. And as you can see, it's very elegant. Let's show you the side. It's also very compact. If I you compare the size to an LP, this is the size of an LP. So the side is about the width of an LP and the height is halfway. So it's very compact. It's also, I find it myself very elegantly looking. It has a nice, a simple uh, user's interface, two knobs. Let me switch it on. Uh, this unit is hand built in uh, end of somewhere in November 2017. And recently it has been upgraded. Um, it's all metal. Uh, as I said, hand built. Uh, on the beta units there were some parts still 3D printed. But everything worked, everything was functional. And as you can see also the way it operates is very nice. It has a status bar which shows what is happening if it is washing or drying, how much time. Like the whole design, it is really from the start, I think this was one of the first things they designed and they nailed it with that. I'm happy that they did not change much on the design and kept it the way it is. Um, so, as you can see, the, the biggest difference with a do-it-yourself unit is actually uh, the tank itself. The tank is very small. The tank uh, can only hold about like one liter. So that's a quarter of a gallon or something like that. So it uses very little water. Um, that has different reasons uh, because their goal was not only to get a very clean record, they also wanted to make the cleaning time as short as possible. And one of the things they chose to do was to increase the ultrasonic frequency. So it's now common to use 40. I saw some do-it-yourself units are at 80. This unit is working at 120 kilohertz. So if you're there's a rough division in, in the sense of 20 to 100, that's more of your standard ultrasonic frequency. 100 to 250 is more uh, high frequency and is more for medical cleaning, for medical applications. And if you go above 250 kilohertz, uh, you go more into uh, the semiconductor and cleaning of uh, substrates. They chose to do 120 and that also had some consequences. For example, the transducers who make the ultrasonic are not at the bottom of the tank, uh, but the bottom is also this, the width, so it would not fit. They've mounted it to the sides, two units on the left side and two on the other side. So they are continuously firing 
uh, the bubbles uh, to, to the both sides of the record for, to help cleaning. Because that's also an effect what you see. If you um, increase the frequency, also the, the, uh, the dispersion of the bubbles is much less. So to give you an, a rough idea, if you put 100 watts of uh, power of energy into the water and you have 100 bubbles, you get 1 watt per bubble. If you double the frequency, you go from 100 bubbles to 1000 bubbles. And, but the power of one bubble is 0.1 watts, so that reduces from 1 watt to 0.1 uh, watts. So you get a more gentle cleaning, but you have a crazy amount of bubbles in the water, uh, which are rubbing and by cavitation cleaning the record. Uh, one other thing they added to this unit is an, a removable water tank. So that is something uh, I have not seen before. Uh, you can fill it up um, with your own cleaning solution. They have also made their own cleaning solution. You can use water, you can use distilled water, uh, you can use anything you want. So this is handy for cleaning. So if you want to clean this unit, that goes very quickly. But also if you want to use different cleaning solutions for your record, you can easily throw now this one away, it's only one liter, mix a new and clean your record with the new batch. If that's something you prefer. Um, now let's do a demo. Let's see how it is working when we put in a record. And first let me fill up the tank. So just as an estimate, this is about 1.2 liters, that is what is entering the unit. Normally you put, put in it in the tank and you hold the tank and put it in. I'm now doing it directly. And one thing they worked on very much during uh, the beta process was the noise. Something which irritated me a little bit was the amount of noise it made because 120 kilohertz does not make a lot of noise. That's something you will see uh, in a moment. But other parts of the unit were making a lot of noise. That's something they worked on. Um, that's quite impressive. So I'm in no way related to the design team. I just went on cleaning records after record after record after record. That was my thing in the whole process, which was actually a fun thing to do. So I have taken my phone and searched for an app to show you the sound. Just so you can see during the testing how much noise does it make. So if I'm speaking to you, just as a reference, that's about 60 dB. That is just a speak or a normal uh, voice speaking to you. Um, so it will be interesting to see how much noise does it, this instrument make. Uh, I all, we all know the vacuum of an Okinoki. <laughs> that's off the charts. That's in the red area. So one of the goals is, of course, cleaning makes not so much noise so that's a nice feature if it can do that so i thought it's fun to clean the game from uh, queen with another one bites the dust on it you have different programs i did i, I will not go into the complete uh, way you can program it but you have a quick program you have a normal program or I'm not changing the drawing, but no medium. That takes three and a half minutes and one and a half minute cleaning or drying. Uh, the quick is two minutes and 1.3 or 30 for the drying. You can change the drying, so I increase the drying. The drying is a little bit dependent how much and the way uh, the cleaning solution you use. Uh, 1.30 seconds is the minimum. I'm doing that just to keep the video a little bit short. You have also no heavy cleaning and then it's cleaning 5 minutes and 1 minute 30 for the drying. And you can only dry, you can drain, you can do everything. But I will just start it up and then you get an impression how it is working. So if we go to start, so the menu is just play, pause and stop. So the first 15 seconds are used for filling the, water, the ultrasonic tank from the water tank. I will try sometimes not to speak so you can get an idea how much sound it's making and not how much sound I'm making. 
So this is all the noise it's making. I mean, it is just really quiet. As you can see, it's now turning slowly. So it is turning about one rotation takes about 40 seconds, 45 seconds. So the quick cleaning, it does two rotations. If you go to normal cleaning, it does three to four. And heavy cleaning is five to six rotations. In general, I must have to say that I'm only using the normal setting. The normal setting is just spot on. Only on very dirty records, I'm using the heavy. But then usually it turns out that normal cleaning was enough. Quick cleaning, I only do it for new records or when I see there is dust on the record. So the total time you can see it's now dropping. So after 2 minutes cleaning you're losing 15 seconds filling up and 15 seconds draining which will happen in a second. This is the point it's raining and now the drying time will come in, one and a half minute. That is the loudest part of the whole machine when it's blowing air. It will blow air and it will not suck air, but I will demonstrate that also. So now all the water from the ultrasonic bath is going back to the water tank at the back side. Which means there's only air in the ultrasonic. Blowing air. Well, not the best demonstration, but you get the idea. During drying, it's around 70, 70 dB. So that's the end, it will give two little beeps and now you can take out the record and play it on your turntable and I mean that's amazing, it's full automatic, it did not touch any way the record is touched, I mean that is one of the features I like the most, that you can put it in, it is no touching, it's simultaneous doing both sides of the records and it's working very well. I have been cleaning now the last four months 300 to 400 records and in general they have been very very good or well cleaned. Um, ultrasonic is really it's amazing what ultrasonic can do so my experience till now and I will not go into full details this time I will do probably later uh, a second video because this is still the better unit and at some point it will be replaced with the retail unit there will be added some features, for example the noise you heard, that will be uh, have two settings. This was the maximum setting, so the, the fans were blowing as hard as they could, but they will reduce that to also reduce uh, the sound, but then the drying will take a little bit longer. Um, they have also added during the beta testing uh, a sweeping frequency, so that means the frequency of 120 kHz is going a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down. They call it sweeping frequency and that in, uh, increases the efficiency of the transducers that are used. 
and that will also help. That is a feature that's just added to my unit, so I've also not that much experience with that, but in general the second hand records were very clean. Um, although if it's really dirty, then I switch back to my old units, but a clean record uh, or uh, a new record or uh, a, a relatively clean second hand unit that's not really like smudge all over it and so on, that is cleaned amazingly in a very, very short time. I must say I'm very happy with the unit. Um, the results I'm getting are amazing. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I have no need to go and make my own unit. Although you can get the same of results, of course, if you make your own unit and you play around with the different features. But this one is very fast. It's easy to operate and it just looks beautiful. It's just sitting on my uh, next, on the desk next to my turntable and it looks uh, very, very nice. I hope this gave you a nice impression uh, what the guys from the Gritter have built the last three years, what they have been doing. Probably the family have not seen them that much. They have usually been working on this all day or that's what they told me all day and all night. Uh, but I must believe them. They have done a really an amazing job in creating this ultrasonic vinyl cleaner. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.